Hi, I'm T. RGBA masking in Poyomi shaders lets you blend material properties together using RGBA channels, coming from either a texture you create or vertex colors, effectively giving you four additional PBR material slots. Each channel gets its own albedo texture that you can tint with a color and blend with the base texture however you choose. There's a normal map slot with an intensity slider. You can either blend this with the base normal map or replace the base normal map entirely. Below that, you can choose how emissive you want the material to be. If you have reflections and specular enabled, enabling metallics and smoothness will make that channel sample the corresponding channel in the metallics and smoothness maps. Custom sampling will let you change the tiling, offset, and panning for metallic and smoothness per channel. You can create your own metallics and smoothness maps by putting grayscale maps into the corresponding channels in the texture packer. If your smoothness is already packed, you can use the advanced texture packer to select your source channel. If you only have roughness maps, just invert them to get smoothness. Last, and probably most important, is the mask texture itself. The value in a channel determines how intensely that channel will be blended. If you're masking by vertex colors, you don't need this texture, so it goes away. The way I see it, RGBA masking has three primary use cases. Consolidating materials into fewer slots, blending between multiple materials, and adding complexity to simple materials. First is a classic example, terrain. I've painted this model using vertex colors according to where I want to blend in certain materials. Red is stone, green is grass, and blue is dirt path. You can see where I've painted them over each other, the materials blend together seamlessly. This is straight up not possible if you're using separate materials. For this next demonstration, I've killed my friend Sacred so we can take a closer look at his sweater. This setup has multiple cloth materials and some metallics. The RGBA masking fabric detail normals here are being blended, so they follow the contours from the base normal map. This horizontal line pattern is actually on its own channel. The last example I have is my Celestia with a skin enhancement applied. Here, RGBA masking is used to tile a skin pore normal map across the model in different densities, as well as create the wet appearance on the skin. For how powerful it is, RGBA masking is actually pretty efficient and well optimized in terms of shader code. So if you have a need, use it. Tiling smaller detail textures and normals will also save you orders of magnitude on VRAM and download size, versus baking the details into the main texture. You can even use stochastic sampling to help break up repetition. One last thing. If you use Substance Painter, you can download the Substance Export preset from the link in the description. I think that's all the important stuff. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything. If you need help, have something to show off, or just want to chat, we have channels for that on the Discord server, so stop by. Like and subscribe. See you next time.